I remember you going on these different talk shows saying this is gonna crash and people weren't listening to you and they were like oh Peter Schiff doesn't know what he's talking about and then it did crash and then they they listen to you. You're the only one that's saying it's going to crash again. Well, they never really listened to me. They kind of tolerated me. Here's the, the well, they the, had to because you were right. The Fed blink in light of everything that's happening well, today, and we are off the lows of the session. But yeah, look, well, Liz. I think regardless of what the Fed does on Wednesday, well, does it blink? Answer my question first. After that is go. Yeah, I am. I regardless of what they do, the next thing they're going to do is cut rates. They're going back down to zero. Real stimulus is going to be is QE4, which is going to be bigger than the first three rounds combined. Wait, is that your prediction? Oh, yes. You say, OK, articulate it here. Well, the Fed's going to go back to QE. I mean, they're going to do whatever they can to try to stop the bear market and to try to prevent the recession. But they are going to fail. They are going to make it worse this time. On Fox Business, two days uh, before the Fed's last rate hike. And I predicted at that time that that was the end of the cycle and that the very next Despite move... Despite what Powell was saying and the, and the hints oh, that the Fed was... Oh, yeah. I you, said the next move would be a cut and that then they would return to quantitative easing. Both of those predictions have come true. We've just created a massive amount of inflation. Quantitative easing is just a euphemism for inflation. That's what inflation is. Expanding the money supply, putting up money and buying government bonds is the definition of inflation. The Fed has been inflating like crazy. So to say that we see no dangers of inflation, why did he think the stock market went up? Why did the real estate market go up? Why did the bond market go up? Those are all prices. What made those prices rise? The inflation created by the central bank. I mean, they did that on purpose. So clearly inf inflation is a threat. And what's going to happen with inflation is the effects are going to move from the financial assets to the real economy, to food, to energy, to stuff like that. But the Fed doesn't see that. What's your new prediction about the dollar? Well, it's not really a new prediction, but maybe it's more timely. The dollar is not just going down, it is going to crash. You know, you mentioned the Dow being up, but priced in real money, gold and silver, the, the Dow is actually down. Encouraging our clients, and I would encourage everybody listening to Fox to get out of Dodge, like Gasparino was saying, but get out of Dodge with your portfolio and get out of dollar. You want to buy foreign stocks that derive their revenues outside the United States so they don't earn U.S. dollars, they earn foreign currencies, and then they can return those appreciated foreign currencies to you in dividends so you can avoid the inflation tax. Forget about the payroll tax. The real tax that's going to clobber every American is inflation.